12 months ago, I added an additional seven panels to my existing 10 panel east system, which means that I now have five on my west, one on my north and one on my south, which means I can answer that question, which orientation is best after south? And how we got our utility bills under £25 a month using some utility tricks and battery tricks, which we'll go into this video. We'll also be able to answer, should you go for heatable? If you go to evnick.com forward slash heatable, you will get £150 off a heatable solar install with a battery system or without a battery system. There's also some more information at evnick.com forward slash solar if you're wanting a battery owning system or to read my full review about solar plus some extra other bits in this video. Now all the information contained within the spreadsheet that I've logged over the last 12 months is over at the evnick.com forward slash solar website. If you're wanting to download the spreadsheet, use it yourself or just read my data, then it's all there. Now, how have we done the data? Well, we've got microinverters on every single panel, which means we can get individual panel data for what every single individual panel on this roof has generated. Now, obviously, the best result is south, averaging at 33.19 kilowatt hours. Now, remember, there's only one panel on south and north, so the averages are just what the one panels average over the 12 month period rather than five panels divided by five, which we'll do for the rest. Um, but that generation was closely followed by the West generation, which came in at 29.71 kilowatt hours of generation. East wasn't far behind that either at 26 kilowatt hours. Now, before I tell you what the North was, I'd like you to have a guess down below in the comments, because I think that most people will be able to work it out from what the South generates. So why do I recommend Heatable? Well, two years ago, when I was looking at getting solar panels installed, I went to the Heatable office to meet the founders, Ben and Sam. Ben and Sam basically gave me some instilled confidence. The problem with the solar industry, even now and two years ago, is it was full of a lot of cowboys, people putting up systems that weren't designed properly, they didn't know what they were doing, and making lots of mistakes. Ben and Sam assured me that the reason why they wanted to go for the certain systems and the systems they designed is so they could keep an eye and monitor the people who were fitting them because they subcontract work, which worried me yet again. Then they pointed out very clearly that the design of the system was going to be done in-house by their system designers and then only approved specialist contractors would approve to be doing the jobs. They would keep a constant eye on contractors all times. And the most important thing Heatable said to me is we don't want to be the cheapest. Now, this is a really important thing when it comes to solar because the cheapest job in solar definitely doesn't get you a good job. Some of the cheapest installs in the solar industry tend to be poorer systems and the most poor performing and the poorer installs. People have shown me that by being a premium installer, they had plenty of money in reserve from each job that if one of the 10 jobs went wrong, they'd have enough money to go and fix it. And that's what's important. Redundancies to make sure you know what you're doing and we'll go back and fix the job. Now, this has actually been recently proven by one of my friends who had a problem with his roof uh, that was heatable fitted and heatable went back and sorted and fixed the job. And my friend is more than happy with heatable. And like he says, mistakes can happen. It's how someone fixes them that's important. Now we're gonna get back into the North Array now, but before I do, I'm gonna tell you now that I, we didn't set this up. This is exactly the true panels, and you can see that from my Enphase system that's completely accessible on the internet at evnic.com forward slash solar. But the North South Array, just to re re remind you all, it was 33.19 kilowatt hours, and the North Array was almost 50% exactly less at 16.02 kilowatt hours. Now this is really important data, for a couple of reasons. One, if you've got a south only array and you're thinking of adding more panels to the north, you can roughly work out it's gonna generate 50% less. Now bear in mind, if you have an older system that was fitted during fit, newer panels now are way more efficient and generate way more per panel. So you might actually generate a little bit more than 50%, but it's a good back of the pack pack maths to work out. And you can go and use my spreadsheet if you want more information on that. Now. Before I were to tell you if it was worth me fitting these additional uh, panels on my roof, why don't we tell you how I got my bill under £25 a month. Now to get the bills under £25, we have to remember that we also have a 10 kilowatt hour alpha battery there in my garage. And to also get to £25 a month utility bill, 
we had to get rid of the gas boiler. So over in September, I replaced the gas boiler with a cozy heat pump from Octopus Energy, which means that my hot water and all my heating inside could all be powered 100% off electric. Now in the summer, that means that all the hot water system is run off the heat pump, which means it's purely run off my solar and alpha battery. In the winter, we do have to import some electricity from the grid, but because of all the power that's being imported and exported by Octopus Energy, imported at 7p because of Octopus Go Intelligent and exported at 15p, we have a profit over in the summer that carries over to the winter, averaging out at £25 a month. But it doesn't average out at £25 a month, it was actually slightly higher than that. It actually averaged out at £979, uh, £979 for the year and we exported £668 for the year. But because Octopus do some paid events where if you use less electricity by supporting your house by the battery, they pay you, that got us to £24.96. Oh, and I forgot to mention, that also included charging an electric car, and I bet a lot of you are putting more than £25 worth of fuel in your petrol car. So the question is, should you add more solar panels? Well, first of all, this entire system, if fitted at the same time, would have cost £11,500 by heatable. Plus, we also have to remember that this system gives me protection of wholesale rates. So wholesale rates have gone nothing but up over the last couple of years. Prices of electricity are just going up and up all the time. So having solar panels does protect you against those increases. Obviously, if energy prices fall, then the cost of electricity drops significantly and so does your investment. But it's not just about that. It's also from protection from that wholesale. But if you're adding more panels, then you should probably do it at the same time as your initial install because adding just these seven panels would have cost £7,300 rather than the eleven and a half for the whole system. So it's definitely much more wiser to do the system all in one go. If you're thinking of adding more panels or any panels uh, and a battery system to your house, go to evnic.com forward slash heatable where you can get a free quote online. You can draw your own house roof. There is no obligation to give them your telephone number or name and address. You do have to give them your postcode and pinpoint your address on a map so you can draw your roof, but they don't store that information to then contact you and cold call you. It's a completely no obligation quote that you're in control of getting and it's instant online, not a we'll ring you back and give it you. You get the price as soon as you draw your house and tell them how many panels you want. You can also customize what battery system you want. They have a choice of different companies of battery systems from Alpha to Tesla to Sig Energy. You go and pick which system you want. If you want to see more about my system, then check out these videos here. And if you want to learn more about the battery systems that people install, check out this video here.